this video, we're going to be doing drag and drop uploads in uh, React, and we're going to be using a package called Drop Zone for this. So right here, I just got an open uh, blank create React app thing here set up, and we are going to use that. So let's uh, jump right in here. So first of all, we can just kind of get rid of all this here. So let's just get rid of that. Uh, what else? We don't have a logo here, so get rid of that. And then, like I said, we're just going to need one uh, package here, which is going to be React Drop Zone. So open up uh, a terminal here, and we're just going to go yarn, yarn add, and it's called React Dash Drop Zone. Boom. So let that uh, download, and then uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so that looks good and done. So we can actually just um, exit out of this and we can just get rid of this here and have a little more space to work. All right, so this is what we're working with. And what do we need to do here? Let's first, um, what do we got? I guess we got to bring in drop zone, so let's do that. So let's go import and it's going to be use drop zone because we're going to be using hooks and this is their uh, hook. Um, so drop, what is it, zone. And that's going to be from react dash drop zone there. Okay, so that is all good. Now in this tutorial, we're not actually going to be persisting the files to a database. I do have another video in that where we um, persist them up to Cloudinary and that shows you how to upload them. Uh, to kind of a database, but this is just going to be in React. So we're just going to do a demonstration, and uh, if you feel like combining those two videos, uh, this that should be uh, quite easy as well. All right, so let's come inside our app here, and first we're going to bring in use state here. Use state, and do anything else? I don't believe so. So we're going to come in here into our function. And we're going to first go const and we're going to have uh, files and set files. This is how we're going to set up our state. And that's going to be equal to use state. And we are going to pass in an empty object to start that. And then below that, we're going to set up some uh, drop zone specific stuff. So let's go const and we're going to open up an object here. And we're going to get root props. And we're going to go get input props. Good. And that's all from use drop zone. And then that has an object associated with it. And we're just going to be doing images, but you can obviously um, change this. So this is the accept function here. And that's going to be an image. And we're just going to accept every kind of image. So we can do a star for depending if it's a PNG or whatever, it doesn't matter. We're going to accept all image images and then we're going to have an on drop. And that is going to be the accepted uh, files. So if the files are accepted, we're going to push them into here and then we're going to go set files. And that is going to be those accepted files. And then we're going to map over all of those and return file. So map over them, return one of the files, and then we're going to go object.assign, and then we're going to assign the file as well as a preview. And that preview is going to be the URL, uh, dot, not any of those, uh, what is it, create object URL. So that's some drop zone specific stuff. So hopefully that isn't too complicated. Um, and what we're doing here is we're gonna be creating a preview for any of the files that we, um, that we uh, drop into our drop zone. Okay, so that is good. That's basically, this little function here, this use drop zone is basically gonna handle everything for us um, or almost everything anyways. So then we're going to come down below here and we're just going to first do, actually let's do our markup first. So we have our app file here. So let's do a div here and inside that div, this is going to be our drop area. So we're going to go 
and spread in our get root props. And we're going to call that. And then below that, we're going to have an input. So input, input. And that is going to be, we don't need any types or anything for this drop zone specific thing. And that is going to be, we're going to spread in, get input props, input props again, call that. And that's good. And then below this is where we're going to have our drop, our files to drop. So let's just do, let's say we'll do a p tag here and we'll just say drop files here. Okay. And that should be good for that. And then below this, we're going to have another div. And in here, we're going to have kind of the images. Uh, so that will be that. Okay. And we can go ahead and save that. Now we haven't created this images yet. So let's go ahead up here. Give ourselves a little more room here and we will create this images um, where we map over all our images. So let's go const images and that's going to be equal to files dot map. So we're mapping all the images and again, we're going to pass in the file and then what are we going to do? Oh, that's not it. Arrow function. And then in here, we're going to return a div and that is going to have, we'll put a key on that because you got to have that for react as we know, key equals file dot name. So it's going to be the name of the file we get. Then below that, let's open up another div and in here, we're just going to have an image uh, tag here and the SRC is going to link to the file dot preview. Okay. And we're just going to put a style tag on here. Um, just, uh, so we don't have like a massive, otherwise it'll upload the full size of the image, which we do not want. So let's take up the whole page. So we'll go what style and then we'll go width, width, width of, uh, and we'll go 200 pics. Okay. Oh, and we'll do, an alt tag here. Make sure we're accessible and everything. Good, good, good. Boom. And let me see. Let's see. Let's open up our terminal here. See if we have any big errors. That's okay. And we have, uh, we got a, a server running here. So let's come over to here. And we got our drop files here, which is good. So let's come over here and see if I got anything here. And we can just take an image and drop it there and boom, there it is. And there's our little preview. Now, again, if we were to reload this, um, it's going to get rid of it because we're not uploading to a database or anything. But like I said, there is another video. I'll link it in the description, uh, which shows you how to use a service like Cloudinary which is pretty simple. So you could easily just combine the drag and drop feature of this with that if you like. So again, let's bring it over here and we'll drag it in. And that is all she wrote. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe or uh, give me a like. And if you don't, don't do that. But uh, until the next one, thanks for watching.